forms of pronouns and determiners. Let's look at different forms of pronouns we are already familiar with. Let's see what about determiners. Do they have also forms like pronouns? So, in morphology, we know that uh, the behavior of words which belong to open class, that is, the noun, verb, adjective, adverb, keep on adding new words to this class. Right? Their membership is open and can be added. Whereas, by contrast to open class, the closed class words do not add. Right? There is little addition into this class. However, determiners deserve to be mentioned like nouns because as we know that nouns have singular and plural determiners, especially this and that too, as singular and plural forms. Like they are uh, quite similar to pronouns. We have already encountered in the previous uh, uh, lectures this paintist and these paintists. So, you see that when determiner is followed by, this determiner is followed by singular noun, it is this. When it is followed by plural, it is these. So, with which this can, uh, we can understand that how determiner work like nouns. There are singular and plural. So, we can say that the determiner lexeme, this has both singular and Plural forms. Other determiners include a, an, indefinite, and some, but only other determiner exhibit a singular plural contrast that, that is that, with singular or plural, that boy or those boys. Right? So we can say that this, these, that, those are the determiners which show singular and plural forms, not other determiners. So, deter the determiner this and that demonstrate that number contrast can have a grammatical effect. So, if you have this, it must be a singular noun. And the verb also should be a singular. If we use these, the verb, the uh, noun should be plural. And the verb should also be plural. So, this table is and that table is. So, you see that this is followed by a singular noun and, a and the noun is followed by a singular verb. And similarly, we can see for that. In many languages, the, the, the distinction that English expresses by word, wor word order in John loves and John loves Mary and Mary loves John. So, if you look at this, the distinction between word order is not shown by any inflection, especially in English. Only the, uh, the word order tells us that John in the first sentence is the subject and Mary is the object and in the second Mary is the sub subject and John is object. Is it, so, this uh, word order is expressed by inflectional mean in other languages. In other languages, you will find that if any noun is used as a subject, it will have a certain uh, inflection and if it is used as a verb, it will have a certain inflection, right? So, in English, the same technique is used for one small closed class lexeme, namely personal pronoun. We know that when the noun is, when the pronoun is in the subjective case, it has a different form. When it is in the objective case, it has a different Form. Let's look at these two sen uh, sentences. He loves her. So he is used as excuse me, subject and her is used as objective. But when their order is changed, their form also changes. She loves him. So you can see that in two, their forms are changed as their order changes. Whereas in nouns, as we have just seen, it does not change. He or him are sometimes said to contrast in cases. So, the change of the pronoun is just because of cases. We know that English has nominative case, accusative case, possessive case, 
genitive case and their forms are different from each other. This kind of inflection has only a marginal role in English being limited to only pronouns. But if we treat say he as a lexeme, we must recognize it that uh, this lexeme has two forms, he and him. Relationship between nominative and accusative form. Accusative form, the form of the noun used as direct object of a sentence, is consistently superlative. Superlative means that one form is changed from the other. Uh, we, we know that I, me, she, her, we, us, etc. So, only you is identical. You as subject and you as uh, accusative or objective case is similar. But that has a change during the passage of time. There used to be a plural, you used to be a plural pronoun, but now it is being used for both singular and plural nouns. So this is consistent with the fact that pronouns are very common and suppletions affect only very common words such as go. So we see that only those words which are very commonly used have suppletion forms like go and gone and he, and him, his, etc. And similarly, she, her, etc. So, if he and, and him are forms of the lexeme, he, and we and us are of uh, we, we are to say about corresponding words with a possessive meaning, his or ours, as well as my, her, yours, and theirs. So, there is a question, if he and him are the forms of the lexeme he then what about uh, his or ours possessive case or genitive case or other uh, your and theirs etc so there is a question about this are they also the word form of the same lexemes syntactically and semantically these words fulfill just the same role as noun phrase with the apo apostrophe s his bicycle mean the bicycle belonging to him, just as that man's bicycle means the bicycle belonging to that man. So, this apostrophe works as the noun phrase. So, it should be uh, put, it in, uh, put under the same umbrella or not. That's the question. One possibility is to say that these are pronoun forms belonging to a third case. The genitive or possessive which stands in for apostrophe as forms in noun phrases that consistent offer personal pronouns. So, they are all of the personal, personal pronouns. Another is to classify these words as determiner. Because they perform uh, like a determiner-like role, they come before the uh, noun and they have the same function, uh, similar function, cannot be combined with other determiners. However, we cannot say that his is like the because we cannot make a sentence like the my hat it is not possible because we cannot combine them any more than we can say the that had so this is a problem that we cannot combine them with other determiner but these are issues of syntax rather than of morphology so looking at these problems that this what is possible and what is not possible is the issue or of uh, syntax not of morphology for present purposes, we need to merely note how his, our, and the rest behave while leaving their exact grammatical distinction undecided. So, we cannot say anything uh, decidingly that they are also, uh, they are also the, uh, belonging to the same leg like team or they have some separate uh, entity. So, let's uh, leave it for syntax to decide.